working on an animal print tumbler. I haven't done one in a long time and I thought this is the perfect opportunity because today this video is sponsored by Hippo Water Slide Decal Paper. Um, they reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to do a video using their water slide paper. And of course, I jumped on it. Um, they are going to be offering a discount uh, code for all of my viewers. And that'll be linked down below. Um, you can get this through Amazon. One thing I want to point out, when I got this paper, one thing that really stood out to me, and this is really important to me, and I think it is to some other people too. Um, it's not about the paper right here, but where you lift up the wrapper to take out your paper, it's not going to stick on this back strip here because the sticky is down here. Huge move for me. I love that idea. Um, I hate when I go to pull out my papers and then they stick to the thing. Now I got to take it out of here and leave it out of here or I've got to cut the top off. Uh-uh. Not with these. So that was their first big points. Um, so what I've done is I have printed this design onto the paper and it's a nice thick paper. Now I haven't used it on anything. This is all test for me, test for them. Um, they did advise to spray this three times with a clear sealant, which I did. I used Krylon triple thick on it because I know I'm going to be using bigger chunks and I really wanted it to hold itself together really well. We know that if we treat our water slide with a good sealant, then we have something that we can really hang on to and use. So we'll see how that goes. Um, now that being said, we are, and I, and I printed two of those because Lord knows I make mistakes. That's just the kind of gal I am. Um, this is this is the tumbler that we're using, and now I'm going to put my touch to it. We're going to be using glitters, that, and that's what we're going to start with is glitters. And I'm going to have to use some acrylic paint and my uh, Mod Podge. We're going to be using um, the white from Spin It, and that's from Michaels. And that's got a little bit of silver tint to it. But we're also going to be using, because we're going to try to tie into the tiger colors that are on this, um, I'm going to be using Amber from Recollections, Michaels, and some gunmetal from the Glitter Grind. And we've got just black from Hobby Lobby. And we've got Marigold from the Glitter Horse Store. And we're not going to use a lot of this, but I just, I want some sparkle and shine behind what I do. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get all set up and we'll jump in and get started. Be right back. And we're ready to get started. I've got some Mod Podge in this container right here and I'm just using a makeup brush to lay it on to the area that I want to put my white glitter on.
given this a little bit of time to dry and I am going to go ahead and put my black color in here and then my orange and I've mixed this is uh let me set this down I have outrageous orange and that's by apple barrel and I have jet black and that's ap apple barrel <laughs> speak the words um, and I've mixed it in with my Mod Podge so that when I put that on here it kind of um, gives me a better base for the glitters that I'm putting on and I've mixed my orange and my gold I don't know how well you can see that but I have mixed those and I mixed my black and my gunmetal so we're just going to go ahead and get that on here. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to put it on my turner and when we come back we are going to apply our water slide so don't go far don't go long we'll be back shortly we're back with our epoxied tumbler and it's dull because I sanded it in some spots but um, overall I think it looks pretty cool I'm liking this so we're going to start with the two white sides aren't completely even and like I said I I don't worry about that um, but 
we're going to start with the bigger of the two sides. And I've got a couple of silicone stir sticks here that I've put down to keep my tumbler from rolling. And so I'm just going to snug those up there. And I'm going to cut out the uh, one of the sheets. Now, rather than try to make this diagonal with this, I'm just going to cut the whole thing out. We're going to soak it and we're going to use it. And then I will trim away the excess if I don't like it on here. I'm kind of thinking that I might like the excess over onto the colors, but we'll see. All right, we're all cut out. Satisfied with that, I have a tub of, that's kind of lukewarm water, which is my preferred temperature for water slides. Yes, I could use a little bit bigger container, but I think this is going to do just fine. It looks like I might have lift already. Yes, I do. Okay. And I'm going to wet this a little accommodate movement and I am going to stand up to do this okay I'm going to put it belly side down and I do have overage on the bottom and overage on the top, and that's okay because I'm going to trim it off anyway. And we're just going to slide that baby right up there. And I think that pretty much concludes that side. So we'll be back shortly. I got another bubble here. We'll be back shortly to do the other side. Okay, we're going to do the other side. I've got my piece cut out because I want it to go, let me get this where you can see it. I want it to go from, can you see that? Yeah. From the edge of where this first one stopped to the other edge. So, I've kind of rough, um, measured it out not really measured but you know me I'm gonna go ahead and soak this I'm gonna try to do it um, while I'm holding it because I don't want to lay it on the other side my water has cooled a little bit so it might take a couple seconds longer but this is this is fairly fast as far as uh, releasing from the backer. I like that. Let me just wipe my hands off here. And I'm going to do this the traditional way of applying a water slide um, because I want you to be able to see both ways and then let you decide what is you know, easiest for you. Um, you know, as far as ease goes, I do feel that putting it face down and sliding it off is the easiest. But, like I said, I want you to be able to make up your own mind and be able to do whatever is easiest for you. I've curled the bottom down, but I still, I'm still going to cut that out. All right, we have the design coming away from the backer and 
I'm just going to try to line them up to where they meet and make the design make sense. It probably won't make sense on the other side, which that's understandable too. Okay, now I need to be able to hold on to this, sorry. I'm trying to juggle and I'm not a juggler. There we go, there we go. And I'm just going to keep my hand wet and I'm not going to talk during this. As long as we can work those bubbles out, we're, we're golden. Look at that. That lines right up nicely. Okay, and now I want to work out my bubbles and my wrinkles. We do not have any bubbles that I'm finding. That's a big bonus. There was one bubble there. I saw one bubble and it worked itself right out. I will say you need to work a little faster with this paper than with some. But, my darlings, this is pretty freaking fabulous I have to say that's funny because when Hippo contacted me their line to me was your tumblers are freaking fabulous <laughs> so <laughs> it goes with it goes with this paper I guess so would I recommend this brand of water slide paper? Heck yeah. I do like it. This was a little bit of a, a little more of an undertaking because I did wind up doing the whole tumbler. Okay. We're smoothed out really well. I think our seam looks good. If I can even say there's a seam there. Because there really isn't. I will clean up the top and the bottom of this tumbler. I'm going to go ahead and give it another bath in uh, our epoxy. And when we come back, you're going to see the finished product. So, what do you think, everybody? Is that cute or what? I'm really hoping that you're getting a good... Good shot of that. I think it looks awesome. So we're going to let this dry. I'm going to trim it. I'm going to epoxy it. And then we'll come back with our final reveal. So stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> 